Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. How you doing, my bro? Hey, what's your name? Come on up. My name is Joseph, bro. It's, it's who? Joseph. Joseph. Joseph Gabriel. Hey, real quick, come look at the sign real quick. Tell me your nationality out of the Bible, my bro. Because according to society, what we've been named is what? What would be your nationality if I ask you right now? Without looking at that sign, what would be your nationality? I'm from the land of Judah. You from what? The tribe of Judah. Oh, praise. That's but, right. But according to society, they don't teach us that, right? Oh, they, don't they say we blacks, we Moors, we Negroes, we all these other names, right? But according to, we don't think to even say, hey, what did the Bible say? Right? Because according to the Bible, the Bible have gave us names. That's right. The Bible, you don't find a nationality as being black in the Bible. You don't find a Morb in the Bible. You don't find an African American in the Bible. Right? So the Bible gave us a name in which is the Israelites. And That's under that right. it is 12 tribes. But you just you just identified yourself with the tribe of Judah, right? So come on over here. I, I want to dialogue with you real quick, my brother. Alright? Let me ask you a question. What is the solution to what's going on in our community right now? Why is our people being shot down in the streets? Why is our people being gunned down? What is the solution? The solution is us coming back to the Heavenly Father as a whole, and then it's going to move us forward as a whole. You know what I'm saying? We are, we actually have, uh, we actually have forgotten who we are. We are God's first child. We're his oldest child. We're the eldest man in this world. So until we acknowledge God and come back to him as a whole, not going to move us forward and everybody think that oh well my collective uh, uh, uh process is just for me alone but no it doesn't look like that god wants us to move together as People. Okay, good. You just said something very heavy. So, now, for us to move it, uh, together as a nation, we have to come together on something, right? Yes. Right, because if you look at all the other nations, they believe in something, right? right. They believe in what? White Jesus. Yes, they do. That's what they foundation, their religion that they come together with, right? But us as an Allah, all these other false gods according to the Bible. Yes. But us as a nation of people, how do we come together? Because we tried the Black Panthers, and today we're in 2020, we're still being gunned down. Right? Hey, my brother. Right? We still being gunned down today. Right? We tried the Million Man March. Uh, uh, what? How many? A million? A million black men marching up down the street. Is we still free today? We still been gunned down. We still been shot. Right? So we got to come together with something. Yes, find out. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verse 12. Because you just said you from the tribe of Judah, right? So God is meant to require something of you. Read. Okay. And now, Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? So Israel, according to the Bible, it is the so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Indians. That's right. right. So God says, what do Israel, oh Israel, what do God require of you? Okay. Right? So he's been to tell you what do he want you to do? Just like a father has a child. Right? And it's, a father set rules for his child. This is what's God doing to us. Read. But to to do what? To fear the Lord thy God. Attention, brother. To walk in all his ways and to love him and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. To keep the commandments of the Lord. To do what? To keep the commandments of the Lord. So how we come back to God is keeping God's laws. Yes. Which is the sands of the Bible. Because when you mention laws, our people think, oh, that's something deep and some. It's just things God commands us to do in the Bible. Right. So I'm finna give you some laws real quick, right? Give me head cover. You know, I want that in Corinthians. I'm finna show you something real quick. Hey, all praise be to the mouth. You must heard that scripture before. Right? But these simple laws is what's got us in the captivity that we are in today. Right. Not applying simple laws of the Bible. Right. And we finna get it out of the Bible and show where we go wrong. Because we have followed white Jesus for so long. For 400 and some years that been beating in us. Read. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 3. Hey my brother with the white, come in. I want to ask you something. Why don't you come hear somebody in the Bible? Read. I will have you know that the head of every man is
is Christ. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Christ is God. So you understand the order that the Bible is saying, right? The head of man is Christ. The head of Christ is God. The head of the black woman is the man. A lot of you women would not accept that. Because for so long, you put your trust in white Jesus. And you despise the black man. Bring it out. Read. But so you know the black man is God on earth. That's right. Read. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. Read it again. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. So my brother, hey my brother, pay attention. So when we read in this Bible, when the scripture's coming out, you must just uncover your head, just like you did right now. Give this brother a hand clap. These simple laws, now let me give you another one. Because these laws is what's got us to what we are in now. Rebellious according to the Bible. We do not want to hear the laws of God. Give me Numbers 15 and um, 38. We're going to show you another law, right? That the Bible commands the so-called black Hispanics and Native Indians to do. Read that. The book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Read. Speak unto the children of Israel. So, my brother, I got to ask you a question. What does it mean to speak to? I'm speaking to you right now, right? So this is what God is saying here. He's telling Moses to speak to the children of Israel. He's not talking about everybody else. That's right. He wasn't talking about the African man, the East Indian man, the white man, right. the Arab man. He wasn't talking to them. He was talking to the so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans. That's right. Read on. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garden. So, what do bid mean? Do you know what the word bid means? Bid, it means like, uh, like, like, uh, no, to command them. The, God was telling Moses to command the Israelites, the so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans, to do something. Read. That they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. So fringes would be like, as you see the brother got on, fringes. You see the brother got on fringes? The brother got on fringes? This is a law of the Bible. That's right. That the Bible command the so-called black Hispanics and Native Indians to put on all their clothing. That's right. Now let me ask you a question. Look around. Look to the left. Look to the right. Look behind you and look behind us. Do you see anybody walking around here with fringes on besides the ones in purple? So what are we doing? We breaking God's laws. See, and then we want to cry when we get gunned down in the street. Then we want to say, Jesus, why you let this happen to my two-year-old when he's shot? Because we do not, we rebellious when it comes to the Bible. Right. We don't want to follow a simple law like that. Read on. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. So pay attention. You see the blue? That's the ribbon of blue God said put on top of the fringe. Have you ever heard that before? You've been to church in your life? Have you ever heard that in church? So what does that tell you? The church is not teaching the Bible. That's right. They are keeping our people in sin. Right. Read on. They is not telling our people where we go wrong. When you come to the pastor with a problem, he's going to say Jesus wept. Bring it out. He's not going to give you the answer out of the Bible. Read on. And it shall be unto you for a fringe Read. that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. So the purpose of the fringe was not just putting it on to say, oh, I got a new style. You know how I, we do today. The so-called black, we want to make up a hat to the corner or we want to put some say, I got a new style. No, that's not what God, God was rolling. He said, put this upon your garments for what? Read it again. It shall be unto you for a friend Read. that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. So the reason for the fringes is to be upon your garments to remember to keep the laws of the Bible. That's right. If everybody was wearing fringes, you would not have drugs being sold to your people. You would not have prostitution on the corners. Right. We would not be robbed our brothers. Right. The police want to have to come and beat us down because we would not be breaking the laws of the land that the Bible tells us to obey. You know? That's the point of us having fringes upon our clothes. So if you finna go commit an act of adultery, you're going to look up on that fringe and say, 
oh, I'm an Israelite. Adultery is wrong according to the Bible. That simple law is another reason why we are in captivity today. That's right. We're not free. Because you ain't get a McDonald's job or a Walgreens job, you're not free. Teach. You are still in captivity today. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how our men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.